Hi guys, it's Bella and welcome to Beauty on a Budget and skincare. But what I wanted to do, you tell me what you think of the idea, what I wanted to do was go through individual products in skincare and do a video every now and again of each sort of product that I can think of. Because we're so bombarded, aren't we really, with different products. Um, I mean, when we were young, we, well, I, could, I used Pond's Cold Cream to take my makeup off and used it as a moisturiser. And um, Oil of Ola, well, it's Ola now, but it used to be Ula then, didn't it? Who remembers that? Um, and that was it, really, a lip balm and a Vaseline on your lips and Vaseline on your lashes to make them grow. And that was it, wasn't it? I mean, we didn't have all the things we've got now, but now it's mind-boggling. Um, you know, I go through and I watch all the videos about skincare and what should I get, what shouldn't I get, what will work for me, what won't. Um, and I've come up with a few things that I've learnt a little bit about. But I'm no chemist, I'm no expert, I'm no skincare expert. All I can go by is myself. The things that I've put on myself and I've looked in the mirror and thought, yes, yes i can see that's doing okay and so forth that's that's all i can go by um if you want a more professional opinion which i advise anybody to get um i will list karen's channel below from uh, mrs ginger she what she doesn't know about skincare is not worth knowing she's she's a gem and I've mentioned her before. So I'm going, any time I talk about skincare, I will always put Karen's uh, link below because you you need to go into more sort of in-depth yourself and feel sort of sure yourself what you're using really because I'm just talking from a consumer point of view and something that works on me as a mature woman. Um, now, what items shall we talk about? Well, I wanted to think of sort of the main ones, the main ones that are spoken of that come to, come to mind when we think of the different skincare products that are available today. And ones that I've used personally. Now, most of you know me, and you know that I have a very ultra-sensitive skin, ultra-sensitive. Um, if I put Resolé or anything... Um, tretinoin or anything like that I can't imagine I'd have a facelift but I'd love to do those things I would I would love to you know because you can see the results they are absolutely results no doubt about it proven chemically proven you know it they tretinoin works but if I used retin-a or even some retinol products that have a, a higher dose of retinol in them. My skin is just burning and I mean burning and you can see it and you can touch it and feel the heat um, and it's so so uncomfortable. Now I realise that you do you know the top layer of skin you can shed when um, you're on the retinol, retin, retin-a but it was beyond that with me and so painful. <coughs> Please excuse me. I've also tried a few um, AHAs and they don't have a very good effect on my skin either. So I'm maturing, my face is ageing, we're all going the same way. I can't use the tried and trusted things. I've tried, my skin won't take it. So what do I do? Um, so this is just what I'm sharing with you today. But I don't want you ever to think if I say... I can't use Retin-A that you can't, because if you can, go for it. It's it's a winner. It really is. Okay, so what I wanted to talk to you today about is collagen. Do I use collagen on my face? Yes, I do. What does it do for my face? Now, there's a lot of hype. Collagen's another big word, isn't it, that's about collagen. This, this You know, include collagen in this product, and this is got collagen in it and so forth. So collagen is a, a is a word that we all know, isn't it? But what I can make out, and as I said, I'm no chemist, that if you apply 
collagen topically, which is on top of your skin, if you put it on as a cream or a gel. The molecules in it are too large to penetrate the skin or penetrate down deep enough to where they will do the, you know, good to do the repairing and so forth. So if collagen isn't doing that, if it isn't going deep enough into my skin, why would I use it? Why would I bother using it? Well, I'll tell you what I particularly, personally use it for. You know the products that are on the market that do that instant tightening? We've all seen them, haven't we? I've had them myself. I think I've shown them myself. Um, and they work. They do work. Um, and you've seen the adverts, I know you've all seen the adverts, you put it on and you can watch and you can mir see miracles of the skin tightening and um, the lines disappearing. Um, yes, they, they, they do work, you can see it, see evidence of it. The only thing is makeup, the ones that I've used, makeup will kind of melt them. And when you put your makeup on top, it dilutes the, whatever you've put on your eye and it just stops the tightening. Um, especially if you use a cream makeup, if you use a concealer. Um, if you used a powder on top, no, but th no way could I put a powder on top of that on my eye. It would just look awful and far too dry. Even. So, but I like to get my skin looking plumper. Uh, and that's the reason I use collagen. I'll show you the one that I use. I use the one from SBC and it's a gel. Show you on my hands. It's a gel. Can you see that guys? Just like that. Rubs in. It disappears in a second. Now, when I put this on, I put it on first thing before I put any of my other creams on and I put it on in quite a generous layer bring it right up around my eyes not right into my eyes obviously but right up around here down here where what do you call these some burned lines I think down here I let that soak in very very quickly it soaks in then I do my skincare and I do my makeup what it does it, and you can see it, you can see it happening. It plumps the skin, it fills it up, it plumps it so that these parts here are not sort of bagging so much. This is not bagging so much. It's not massive, but it is a difference. And it, to me, you know, I can see a real difference when I use it, but it's not a cure. It's a temporary fix because unlike the products that um, I, I mentioned that do the instant tightening, it's not affected by makeup. So you could put all your makeup on the top and the, the plumping would still stay, but it is affected by washing. So when you wash your makeup off of a night, obviously, and you cleanse your face, that'll come with it. That, that tightening effect will go with it. But, and it's not even a tightening effect. It's not even a tightening effect, it's a plumping effect, but it's not that pulling effect. You know, that pull you get with those other kind of products. Um, although I think they're great, I mean, I think they're marvellous. If you don't put a lot of makeup on and you don't need to, then I think they're, you know, great. Um, but for me, this type of product is better because makeup doesn't affect it. It will stay all day, my face will stay plumped until I cleanse it. And then I'll cleanse, that comes away with it. When I wash my face, that will come away with it. But it won't leave me feeling tight. It doesn't make my makeup look different. I can sort of screw my eyes and wear, use my, you know, facial muscles and so forth without it cracking because it's so tight. Because it doesn't go tight, it just plumps. I don't use it every day, no. Um, I use it quite a bit in the summer because in the summer I tend to um, just use very light BB creams and so forth. But, and it, it's nice then, it still pumps your face up, you know. But I do use it, I do use it. But I don't use it every day as, you know, religiously like I do some of my skincare. So really I use it for cosmetic use as opposed to skincare use. 
I use it for a cosmetic use and it does really really work for that I don't I personally I personally don't believe that collagen can do a lot of age reversal I don't think many things can do age reversal really other than than a retinoid but um and it doesn't sort of keep the skin going or treat the skin at all i don't think so i don't think so to me this is more cosmetic than it is a treatment but as a cosmetic and if you're going out or you want your face to look nicely plumped and um, you know you're lines plumped up and it does it for me for me it does do that um and certainly i will i will buy that i keep buying that and i i like it but i've never mentioned it before because as i said it is just a cosmetic and i don't want to put it into the skincare line or think of it as a skincare product but i wanted to mention it in in this particular little series i'd like to do about skincare because the word the word collagen is so so about and uh, everybody knows it but from what i can gather on my very limited knowledge is that if you apply collagen topically on top of your skin it won't sink deep enough to do any good um maybe there's some that do but the re limited limited research i've got um, limited knowledge I've got is that it, it's not going to do that much good and that, uh, all the, the claims um, that you know it's age reversal and so forth no no but it is age, say age reversal, it's not permanent but when you put it on when you do that and it plumps your face up, of course you look a bit younger because your face is plumped up. But it's not treatment. It's, that's not going to stay. That's going to wash off. But I would still use it. I still think it's... I've got it on today. Um, and it just plumps around here. You know, I, I have trouble with my eye bags. And you can see from there, they're hardly showing. That's just because I put it here and it plumps it up. But when I wash it off tonight, hello, my eye bags. <laughs> So let's, I just wanted to share some things with you really, just on my knowledge. Um, as I've said, if you want to know anything from a knowledgeable point of view, I will list Karen's channel below, Mrs Ginger. She's my go-to for any information if I need I find a product or what does this do I'll go to Karen's channel and I'll list through her videos to see if she's done anything on it if not ask her because she's you know she's so helpful she's a lovely girl and you know she knows she knows her stuff and um, I, that's important to know you know from someone who knows where they're coming from but anyway I use collagen it's that gel it's never done me any harm. I don't use it for creams or anything like that. Um, I don't buy into that. I really do think it can plump the skin, but only on a temporary basis. So it can give you a younger look, but it can't reverse your age. Not much can, can it really? <laughs> so if you like this kind of series, me to do this, okay, because I do a lot of different subjects, don't I? A lot of little series and so forth. Um, but if you like this type of thing, I'll, you know, I'll carry on and doing a few more and we can touch on things. Um, I can't come on the standpoint from a retinol or a retin-A because I have never used a retin-A. I've never used um, a heavy one like that. I've got creams with retinol in that I use on a regular basis, as you know. Um, but not a strong retin-A. I tried it a couple of times and it's hurt my skin so 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 much so I can't come up with that because I will only tell you I will only review things and speak to you about things that I know have personally worked for me or haven't worked for me vice versa but um things like hyaluronic acid vitamin c rose seed oil metrixel 3000 all those things argan oil all those things um and break them down individually, see what they're actually doing for the skin. Is it temporary? Is this going to help permanently? 
um, and see see where we're coming from on that point of view so if you'd like me to do that I can carry on doing that for you I've enjoyed doing that one today but as I said it does I haven't got rid of but you know because if I'm tired these can be really really bad they never go but they, I do treat them I do use a, um, creams that will help the eye bags but that just is a temporary fix but it's not a temporary fix that's going to pull your eyes and tighten your eyes so much it, it actually ends up looking worse okay so I hope you enjoyed that guys as I always do um, I will see you again on Friday you take care of yourself it's really dull outside I'm in front of my window but it's really dull and there's mega clouds going by so you have a good week take care of yourselves and or as always be good bye <laughs>